should be good enough. Hello, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna have a wonderful time. We are going to get drunk and paint. I always wanted to do one of the Bob Ross tutorials because I feel like they're super duper funny and he's super animated. So, let's do it. I broke my quarantine to go out and get these wonderful uh, painting supplies with the one and only Mr. Keonce. Let's pour a glass. Do I have a proper wine glass? <laughs> no. We're gonna use a mug. My first bottle, which I dug into last night with my fried chicken. I think that should be good enough. So I'm kind of feeling something that has greenery and water running through it. So I saw this um, thumbnail of like greenery and water. So we're gonna go with that one first. And so. Uh, I'll put a watch box up here so that you're watching with me as, oh, I haven't even opened my stuff yet. Okay, so we're all set up. I have my own little mini, um, little like artistry set up. And here's the view over here of my cute little setup. That way you can keep track of how I'm doing. Is it ghetto that is leaning on my TV? Probably so, but it's totally fine. Again, I'm gonna have the video up here so you can watch with me. And um, yeah, that's just gonna be that. Welcome back. Glad to see you again. Thought today we'd do just a happy little picture this deep in the woods. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, I'm gonna ask them to graphically run the colors through so you can see all the colors that we use and that I have on my palette today. And while they're doing that, I think we'll get started. I'm gonna take off here today with a little bit of the phthalo blue using the large brush and really work this color into the bristles. Just beat it into the bristles. And let's just make a happy little sky real quick. Most of this guy, I think, will probably disappear, so we'll just put a very simple, basic little sky up here. Okay, so he started off with a sky, and I'm already nervous, because now I'm feeling some type of way. I don't know if he used like a, like this blue, or the, like a turquoise, or bright blue, but I'm just gonna go with the bright blue, just because I feel like he knows what he's talking about. And um, I'm doing it on a smaller scale, so we'll see how this turns out. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna dip it in the water. And um, I ain't gonna lie, I am a little scared just because I am not very artistically inclined. And I don't know if I'm supposed to use this like watercolor. Anyway, we'll see. So here we go with the... up already because it's not supposed to be this light so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just uh, kind of try to get rid oh my god I think I'm messing it up okay wait let me take some of that blue out this is not good this is only the first step and I'm okay so let me just say this if it does come out bad please don't say anything rude in the comments We've already got a major drip here, and I don't know what to do. I'm very, very, very worried about this. I, I, I'm i just going to take a break. Just give me a second. I've already messed up, so uh, I'm going to see how I can blend this out. It's supposed to look like the sky, and I will say this does not look quite like the sky. I think that looks better. This looks a lot better now that I've blended it out. And, um, great. So... Let's just, let's continue watching. Without cleaning the brush, I think I'll just go right into some Van Dyke Brown. A little bit of burnt umber, just mix it on the brush. And some sap green. Okay, so now he's mixing colors. And, okay, so he said some brown. Um, he has two types of brown, so I'm gonna do that brown. I'm gonna do a, a dark brown and um, this light brown. He said sap green, I have grass green. So, whatever, it's fine. And um, oh my <laughs> this is already stressing me out. So let's continue. Maybe a tiny little bit of Prussian blue. Just very dark, nice colors. And let's just go right in here and begin dropping in some happy little trees and bushes. And let's just see what happens. Just let them, just let them flow off your brush. 
Good. Look at there, already. Already we got all those good things happening. Maybe there's a big one over here. Okay, so I think I've gotten the idea, but I think I was supposed to go a little lower with the blue. I guess I should have told y'all before I did this that I'm not artistically inclined. I'm the last to ask to do this, but it's fine. Like, we're, we're quarantined, we ain't got shit to do, so why not? Sometimes I wish I was artistically inclined because then y'all wouldn't be able to tell me about myself, but here I am being not artistically inclined. Okay, we got trees, okay? So, and then I wanna make this one a little darker like the one he has. Okay, I think that's as tree as my trees are gonna get. So let's continue. Okay, a little brown, sap green, touch of blue, maybe. Maybe there's a large one over here too. We'll just sort of close this one in. Push, you need to bend these bristles. There we go. This is one reason you need a very, very strong easel. I don't know how he's doing that. I don't know how he's doing that. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sponge, this little spongy thing, dip it, and just kinda like, Okay, so let me just say that I saved myself. I have come back dramatically. You thought I was gonna fail, but here I am to prove you wrong. Oh, we can continue this. I never thought, I never thought painting would be this stressful. But I ain't gonna lie. I think the wine has officially kicked in. So here we go. This is good. Handy color. It's really the technique that we're trying to teach here. These colors stand out very well on television, so we use colors that are quite bright. But you can use very subdued, quiet colors at home. Whatever makes you happy, because this is your world. Okay, can we pause and just listen to what he said? He said, whatever makes you happy, because this is your world. Things we love to see. Okay, so for this part, I just fast forwarded because I felt like I was taking entirely too long to get to the main point. And I hate when my videos are too long. So enjoy this fast forwarded clip of me just talking a bunch of shit while drinking, of course, and finishing this Bob Ross painting. that y'all are number one taking time for yourself to enjoy this time to not do anything no responsibilities and while things look negative there is no hindsight for any of us i ask that you just take time for yourself to have fun no thinking at all this is a perfect time for you to work on your branding work on your content work on yourself take some time to rest because we've been so used to going 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 that this is opportune time ladies and gentlemen to just do and live and breathe make sure that you are socially distancing yourself from everybody if you could please please be considerate of other human beings be considerate be considerate be considerate check back in for another video i appreciate y'all